Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Let me show y'all one of my guilty pleasures of eating my veggies. This is probably not the healthiest vegetable you ever eat, but y'all know I love me some corn, especially in the summertime. See how pretty this corn is? Look at that. This is come from the farmer's market. I like the corn that's yellow and white. To me, it's a sweeter corn. But yeah, as you see by the preview picture and the preview name, I'm gonna make some honey, uh, some creamy honey buttered corn, y'all. It's through three simple ingredients, with salt and, excluding the salt and pepper. All of this corn, of course, you're gonna put some cream cheese in there, some butter and some honey, that's it. Saute this stuff down, I'm telling you, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I'll sit around and watch TV and eat a bowl of this like nothing, just like cereal, y'all. So. Anyway, I'm gonna step off. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off, take the corn off the corn off the cobs. I'm gonna cut up the cream cheese and get everything set. We're gonna come back and put this together. It takes 15 minutes really to put this thing together, y'all. So anyway, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Hey y'all, I wanted to do something here and show y'all, because some of y'all might know, somebody some of y'all might not know. The easy and safest way to cut corn off the cob. I got a bowl here. A big bowl then I took another bowl like this and I inverted this bowl into in this bowl you take the corn make sure you flatten it see how I got it flat right here you sit it right up on top of the bowl here take your knife and just go by cut it just like this and all the corn goes into the bowl Very simple, very easy, safe way to cut corn. Then you remove the bowl out of here. I say it's easy and then watch happen. Hold on y'all, hold on y'all. Gotta get the bowl. Gotta get the bowl out of here. We're not making too big of a mess. There we go. There we go. That's, the, that's pretty much the safest way to uh, to get your corn. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to clean up here this mess I got here, and I'll be right back. We're going to saute this out and get this video going. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, y'all, we're going to move over here to the action now. I got my skillet here heating up. I'm going to put a little butter in here. Put me a lot of butter in here. We're gonna throw the honey in here. Y'all know I use fresh honey. Y'all know me, I love fresh honey. I'm gonna kinda mix this all up together here. I'm telling y'all, this is such an awesome way to eat corn. I know y'all probably say, Chef Jeffrey's gone crazy today. Who doesn't like honey butter and corn? Makes it even better. Okay, now we're gonna throw our corn on here. Just like this. And what I wanna do, this is like maybe a pound of corn, y'all, maybe 16 ounces. And you definitely, you definitely y'all can use frozen. Because sometime in the uh, it's not summer. And sometime I use frozen corn. So what I wanna do, y'all, I'm gonna let this cook about 10 to 15 minutes, maybe a little longer because this is completely raw. You know, frozen corn is not. So I'm gonna let this kind of cook here in this butter and honey. About, maybe about 15 minutes, get a nice, make sure the corn is nice and cooked. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna add that cream cheese to there, get it all melted in there, season with a little salt and pepper, and voila. We got a dish here. We got a side dish or a snack in the making so anyway y'all we'll be right back all right y'all we are back here look at this y'all see how that quickly come together it's been only 10 minutes and the corn is pretty much almost cooked now that's what you want now we're gonna add a cream cheese to this and all this goodness right here in there y'all i like mine extra creamy and what we're gonna do we're just gonna let that cream cheese do its thing y'all 
telling y'all, if I say, this guy has lost his mind. I'm telling y'all. What I do, I lower the temperature. And I'm going to just let it do its thing. Slowly melt. How easy is this, y'all? <laughs> How easy is this? I'm telling you, you take this to a potluck or a barbecue, and people are going to be amazed. Huh? And they're going to be wondering, what did you do? What's in it? Because you're going to taste the sweetness of the honey. You got the saltiness of the salt and pepper, the creaminess of the cream cheese. All that's just working together, y'all. And you can't go wrong with butter. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off again here. And I'm going to come back. And when I come back, I'll be through. All I'm going to do, y'all, after this, before I come back, is I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this kind of seasoning. That's the only thing I'm going to do. All I'm going to do is melt this cream cheese in there, get it all together. Come back, and we're going to taste us some old school honey butter cream corn, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all, let me plate up some of this here. I'm telling y'all, this is a perfect side dish or just, just eating it in front of the TV, like I say, like I do. Look at that. Nice and creamy. I'm telling y'all, this is the die for right here. Look at this. See that? Mm. Okay. We just have to drop the fork and walk off, y'all. We got the honey. Creaminess. Mm, mm, mm. Never try corn this way. You have to, y'all. And I like using fresh corn. Like I say, you can use frozen. But if you got summertime fresh corn, it has that special crunch. You know how fresh corn is? It hasn't been in the freezer. Hasn't been waterlogged. A lot of frozen corn wants to be in the freezer. It's waterlogged. It doesn't have that crispy crunch, fresh crunch to it. That's why I like to use fresh corn. But one more bite here. I'm trying to close the video out. <laughs> mm, this stuff's so good. I'm telling you. This and some brisket, barbecue, and beans. This is some baked beans. Some baked chicken, barbecue chicken, and some of this corn. I'm telling y'all, hurt yourself. And it will hurt yourself, y'all. But anyway, y'all, just wanted to get a little quick video. It'll take you 15 minutes to do, y'all. A nice side dip. And y'all quit saying I don't eat my vegetables. But anyway, let me close the video, y'all. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022? Helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. Oh, before I forget, TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. I'm trying to get to a thousand people on TikTok. And Instagram. I'm like 9,500. I'm trying to get to 10,000 on Instagram before the year over, before this 2022 is over. And TikTok, I'm trying to at least get 1,000 people before 2022 is over. So I'm focusing on those two social media family accounts. So yeah, if y'all don't subscribe to those channels, please go subscribe to them and like them. I appreciate it. So anyway, until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all. In the next video, love y'all. Bye.